Show me what's in your pockets, Dad. Uh, one at a time or both? One at a time. Let's put it on the table. <laughs> oh, man. We're in public, sir. <laughs> what is that? The CRKT LCK, right? And then, easy. There we go. That's the Civivi IV, right? Yeah. Let me see that one. Tiny. This is right up your alley. Totally. Yeah. And it fits o -stop. in the coin pocket. It's O-Stop Hell Design, yeah. It's a... and hopefully, you know. What's that? I'll be more careful. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Good to see you. It's your boy Brent, aka Backpack B, back at it with another episode of Blades Beats Battlestar Galactica. I'm really glad you're here. Got a lot to do today, so let's get into it. Today we'll be diving into a bunch of stuff. Got a couple of new knives that I'm amped to talk about. My fam and I are going to take a trip to town for some shenanigans, and Lefty EDC sent me a really cool knife to check out, so we'll take a look at that later in the video. Over the past couple weeks, I feel like there's been a major uptick in knives coming through my studio. I couldn't be happier about it. It's a great time to be a knife guy or gal. I keep the knives that I'm currently most obsessed with lined up underneath my main computer monitor. Newsflash, this lineup changes constantly. Let's take a quick look at the knives that are currently on my knife shelf. Starting off with this extremely interesting budget piece, this is the Kubi KU321 Royal, a collab with CM Designs. And I'm gonna be honest here, I was completely out on Kubi before this knife. I just didn't vibe with many of the designs. I really don't know why, but I just was done with Kubi. Then I saw Lefty EDC's review on the Royal and I ordered it immediately. Kev really liked this knife, and if he says it's good, it's good. And dang, dude, he was right. He was right on the money. This knife is amazing. I know it's D2 and G10, which everyone is sick of, but the quality and the tolerances of the Royal are spot on. The design from CM Designs is stellar. The knife is comfortable in hand. The detent is dialed. The action is very good, and it feels solid as a rock. No blade play at all. No rock lock, no detent latch. It's just an all-around great knife. There's really no movement other than a smooth deployment that locks firm. So much so that I went on a Kubi deep dive and bought three more budget models to check out. Man, Kubi has really stepped up their game. This is the Kubi KU322, and this is the Kubi KU291 Vagrant, and this finally is the Kubi KU332, another collab with CM Designs, and I might even like this more than the Royal. Anyway, Kubi is on fire right now. I recommend any and all of these models. I'll be putting out a baller budget blades with Brent featuring these knives soon, so keep an eye out for that. Next up on the knife shelf is not a new knife, but it's a dope knife that has been on my list for a while now. This is the Artisan Cutlery Centoria collaboration with Ray Laconico, who is one of my favorite designers. It's a front flipper in S35VN in titanium with a carbon fiber show scale. I love the size of this knife. It's a little bit over 8 inches, which is on the larger side, but with a handle thickness of 0.43 inches, it's a very thin knife. The design from Laconico is a real winner. I love the aesthetics of this knife, it's very comfortable in hand. The fit and finish from Artisan is very nice. The carbon fiber is done very well, and the titanium scale has some subtle micro milling which adds a nice finishing touch. Like I said, this one's been on my list for a while now, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection finally. Okay, moving right along to this very interesting piece that I picked up through Knife Nuts Imports. This knife is the Arcona Nettle F in layered rag micarta and K110 steel. The Nettle F was designed by Ivan Braganitz, a Russian designer that I recently have become a huge fan of. Other notable designs from Ivan are the real steel Rokot and the Crystal Knives Horseman 2, as well as many other interesting pieces. If you're looking for something a little bit different, I think the Nettle F is a great option. It's a full-size knife that is extremely light due to heavily weight-relieved liners. It's got a great action, great lock bar access, and the overall build is extremely quality. I love the blade shape. I have developed a love for Russian knife design, and I highly recommend checking this one out. 
All right, on to the next knife, which is a very popular model that I stayed away from for a long time because it looked boring in my opinion. This is the Benchmade bug out with Smoky Mountain Knife Works titanium scales that were included. I was experimenting with changing up the show scale to FRN and keeping the other side titanium, but ended up keeping it full tie because like that wasn't working at all. So yeah, I finally got a bug out and I see why so many people like it. It's a great size for EDC. It disappears into your pocket. It's small enough not to be a burden to carry, but it provides ample cutting edge. The Smoky Mountain Knifeworks version came with the titanium scales for like under $150, which is a pretty good deal. I much prefer the titanium scale version to the FRN version. It makes the knife feel a tad more reinforced while adding zero bulk. This knife is a great all-around EDC carry. It's USA made, so I'm always on board with that. All right, moving on to the final knife that's currently living on the shelf. This is the Concept Model 6 designed by Nick Swan. You guys know I'm a Concept fanboy by now. I have a ton of their models. I think this is my 14th one. I made a YouTube short about it, so go check it out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I also send this knife to Neve's Knives to check out, so I'll link that as well. And that's it for the knife shelf today, guys. Just to give you an idea of how much this knife shelf changes, by the time I was done doing the voiceover for this segment, none of these knives that were featured were still on the shelf. This is what's currently on the table as I'm editing the video. Starting with number one, the Artisan Sirius, an Array Laconico design. Number two, Quiet Carry IQ, very dope knife. Number three, Monterey Bay Knives Sea Otter. Wow. Number four, the Kaiser Towser K. And number five, Protec Malibu. I finally got one. All right, we're going to check back with the knife shelf on next episode, but for now, me and the fam are headed into town to check out the local scarecrow competition. Come with me. Time to go! Let's go. <laughs> this is the flashlight in my pocket right now. Check this little guy out. This is the Raylight Pineapple Mini in polished titanium. I bought this from my homie Sal, aka Libertarian. He highly recommended this light to me. It turns out that it's actually become one of my favorites in my flashlight collection. It's a great EDC size. It takes a single AAA battery or a single 104400 lithium ion battery. With the lithium ion battery, it has a max output of 240 lumens, which is enough to handle most use cases that I have. I dig the nice clicky button, which also has a dope little tritium insert that glows in the dark. Yeah, so I'll link this light in the description below. It's around $50. It's a great little EDC piece that pairs well with titanium knives. Shout out to the homie Sal for the recommendation in the sale. I appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Dwight. <Nice>. Jim. <laughs> False. <laughs> What was that, huh? <laughs> What do you think of 8CR13 MOV? <laughs> what are you packing, bro? What type of knife is that? Hey, bud! You got it! Good job! Good job, dude! Yeah, so this was really fun. I had a great time with the fam. There were some dope scarecrows this year. I'm super amped to check out the package that Lefty sent me, though. So let's head back to the studio and check it out. Bro, Lefty has his own shipping bags or shipping envelopes, whatever you call this. Crazy, dude. Dude's next level. <laughs> I can't believe you sent this to me. Hell yeah, bro. Let's go. Dude, these are so sick. Dude, he gets awesome stuff. That's such a good idea. Look, my coffee right down here. If you look underneath it, it's got all these like cup marks. The Detent Diva himself, what a good guy. You know that a knife is dope if I break out the good camera.
What can I say dude, I fell in love with the EVO 2.0 as soon as I saw it in person. The EVO 2.0 was designed by custom knife factory partner Johnny Rotten of Rotten Design. This knife is rocking M390 blade steel with titanium and carbon fiber handle scales and milled titanium clip and backspacer. It comes in at just over 8 inches, which I love, and the EVO 2.0 sports one of the sickest hollow grinds I've ever seen. It's super fidgety with amazing action and great ergonomics. It's on ball bearings so the blade drops shut with ease. Although everything about this knife is super well done, for me I think that the EVO 2.0's design and aggressive aesthetic is what stands out the most. Just look at this thing. The lines are extremely confident and sexy, I love the big belly of the blade and how it allows the evo 2.0 to show off the incredible hollow grind shout out to kev for letting me check out this bad boy it's definitely on my list of knives to own in the future now thanks a lot for helping my knife addiction also side note this specific evo has a sick edge put on it by jared from neves knives all around a glorious piece that i had a ton of fun checking out all right guys that's it for today's episode i'm currently down in south carolina visiting family and taking a little vacation thanks for watching we're here for thanksgiving so i hope you guys have a happy thanksgiving as well till next time this is your boy backpack b and i am out deuces